I just made myself a little salad here, which I kind of make this often whenever I have rotisserie chicken, but today I substituted it with chicken nuggets because we're just in a bind today and I'm starving. I have not had breakfast. Vlogmas day seven took forever to edit. So I am literally just barely eating now at 2 p.m., which is wild. So I'm going to just mix all this up, but uh, it's basically just cauliflower rice, um, some chicken, avocado, and some tomatoes. Sometimes I'll throw in some other veggies in there, but I just got groceries delivered and this is what I ordered. So I'm just going to eat what I have. So today is a friend's miss at my friend Suzette's house, but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to make it or not. Mm. Delish. My dog Finn is not feeling too well still. We're supposed to be doing dinner and then going to her house for like karaoke and games and stuff like that. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it for the stuff at her house. We shall see how he's feeling right now, I don't know. I'm gonna bake some cookies in a little bit because at Friends Miss we're doing like a cookie exchange. Everybody's bringing cookies that they make. And if you don't make it, because some of my friends don't like to cook or bake, you have to get it from a bakery. So since it was my idea, if I don't show up, I'm at least going to send them with the cookies. Maybe hang out for like a couple of minutes and then come back. But we'll see. So I'm going to make three different types of cookies. I'm going to make Cookie Monster cookies with some Oreos and some, I think they're s'more Oreos or chocolate peanut butter Oreos, something like that. And they'll also have like some Hershey chunks in there. And then I'm going to make some orange zest cookies. And then I'm going to make my fave red velvet cookies as well. They're going to be red velvet crinkle cookies. So yeah. We'll see how tonight unfolds. I just got some new Propel packets. This one is the lemon one. I'm going to try it out in my water here. I love Propel. I'm a big fan of the strawberry kiwi. But I used to drink Propel a lot when I was growing up. I remember um, I would always ask for it when I was in soccer. I remember really liking the lemon one. So hopefully the lemon packet is going to be good. Let's see. Absolutely. Mmm. It's real lemony, giving me my electrolytes. We stand. Okay, so the type of cookies that I'm making are cake mix cookies, all three of them, which is really cool. I love making cake mix cookies. I've never tried this recipe before. I just saw this TikTok from Cooking with Carly, and her cookies come out more of like a consistency of a cookie rather than like a cake-ish cookie. So I really want to try and see um, if I can recreate this and see if it'll give me like the type of cookie that I love basically is like a real kind of cookie. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> basically it's going to be less cakey than normal if you use a cake mix because it's obviously cake mix, right? So it's going to come out cakey if you bake it into a cookie. So it's going to be less fluffy and more cookie like. Okay, so half cup of sugar going in and yes, I know that cake mix already has sugar. That is what her recipe is calling for, and that's what we're trying right now, okay? Don't come for me. We also need a half cup of oil. Bam. In there. Oven is preheated. We got one egg. Oh my god, my egg is frozen. Oh, this one's not frozen. That one's just wild. What the heck? All right, so now I'm just gonna get in here and I'm going to mix this all together. It is just the oil, the sugar, and the eggs right now. So not too hard to incorporate. Is this not the cutest little grater thing that you've ever seen? It's so adorable and it's so like tiny. I got it because I'm gonna actually zest some orange um, and put it in the batter as well. Okay, I gave the orange a good scrubbing. Now I'm just going to go ahead and zest it. And I think I'm gonna use this tiny side here. Um, and the trick is to not go too deep into the orange skin. So I'm just gonna like barely graze over it. Oh, it smells so good already. If you get to the white part of the orange, it makes them very bitter. So if you don't want a bitter cookie, don't get to the pit. That's what it's called. 
Just kind of one, two, and then switch the spot that you're grating. Now it's time to add in the cake mix. So obviously for the orange one, I'm going for the orange supreme cake mix here by Duncan Hines. Not sponsored. I wish. All right, orange cake mix going in. Just like that. Okay, to the cake mix and everything else that was in there, I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of flour. That's probably why you add the sugar because you're adding more flour into something that already has flour. So now I'm just gonna mix this all together and we should get a cookie dough. So this is one of those doughs apparently that looks like it's never gonna come together but you really have to just keep mixing and then it'll form a nice little cookie dough. Like at first it looks a little too dry but it's looking perfect now. Okay, now we have this beautiful cookie dough. Just look at this consistency. That is cookie dough, girl. So I'm just gonna put this in the fridge while I prepare the oven and the pan that it's gonna be baking in. Um, I'm gonna put it in the fridge just to chill. She didn't do that in the video, but you know, can't hurt. This is parchment paper. Don't put wax paper because the wax paper does not go in the oven. I've learned that the hard way. Parchment paper is non-stick and oven safe, like it says up here. I think it's safe up to like 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Have my little scooper here. I love this thing. It makes making cookies so much easier. Okay, I'm gonna try her scooping method as well. So she does two scoops per cookie. So I'm going to put the first scoop down. Okay, then she takes another scoop and scoops it right on top. But before she releases it, she presses down on the dough and then release it like that. Oh, I hope that works. They look so darn cute. I cannot wait to put these in the oven to bake. Look at them, they look like little ice cream scoops. They are going into the oven for 11 minutes at 350. Moment of truth, they look gorgeous. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. They're a little thicker than I thought, but beautiful. Absolutely gorge, hopefully they're fully cooked. I don't know, this is the first time I'm trying this recipe, so we shall see. I'm gonna take this off of the pan and put it on a wire rack. So I'm just gonna let these cool for like 30 seconds and then I'm gonna pop them into the sugar here. This is just sugar and then some more of that orange zest just for a little crunch and some more oranginess. Okay, I think it's cooled down enough. I'm gonna take this and just put it upside down in the sugar and I'm just gonna twist like that. I'm gonna shake it off a little bit and bam, easy. My hands are clean as well. <laughs> Okay, so the first batch of the orange cookies have pretty much cooled. It's still a little warm, but the sugar and the orange zest is falling off. Um, so I'm gonna give it a taste test because obviously you have to make sure that it's good, right? I actually wanna just like break it in the center to see what the center looks like. Oh, that is my perfect, perfect cookie. It's not fluffy, but it's still kind of like, it's gonna be chewy on the inside. Mmm, you're joking. I am making the Cookie Monster cookies the exact same way. Obviously, it's blue though, because Cookie Monster is blue. The Cookie Monster is getting some crushed Oreos, some crushed peanut butter chocolate Oreos, and then also some cookies and cream chocolate from Hershey's, so it's gonna be good. This is gonna be so good. Here is how the Cookie Monster turned out. Okay, each one of these bad boys is gonna be topped off with a chocolate. This is a cookies and cream Hershey bar. And I'm gonna put it right in the center while it's still hot. They are so beautiful, I love it. Okay, Cookie Monster cookies are all packed up and gorgeous. And then I have the orange ones here at the bottom as well. Red Velvet is always a classic. They're just, they're beautiful. Three and a half hours later and the last batch of cookies are in the oven. The Red Velvet, my back hurts. And on top of that, I'm already feeling the guilt of leaving Finn here while I go have fun while he's not feeling good. But on the bright side, he did eat a little bit of something. He had some yogurt, probably like a tablespoon. Um, and then I gave him some more Greek yogurt right now at dinner time. Um, and I tried to mix it with like his normal food to see if he'll eat it and he ate a little bit of it. So he at least has something in his belly and he's been drinking a lot of water. I just want my baby to be well again. One, two, cheers. <laughs> Good, yum. Cheers. Wait, 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 wait. Let me put my hand on that side. <laughs> Cheers. I could do it. 
have to focus. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay, before we start, we're taking a shot. 70%. Oh, yeah, get that right there. Wait, bitch, is 35. Okay, right there. Girl. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Oh, God. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All right. I thought, Ooh, yummy. not me good, thinking right? that you were chasing me with another shot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 Okay, well, <laughs> I was the winner of both rounds. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Susie got us all a present. Hostess with the mostest. Yes, all the time. <gasps> girl, girl, I love cups like this. Aww, that is so cute. Merry Christmas. That is so cute. I'm dead. Okay, I just got home. I am the worst vlogger ever. I literally brought my camera because I had every intention to vlog with my friends during Friendsmas, and I forgot the memory card. So there went that. I did vlog a couple of clips that you saw already um, using my phone, but my phone was also dying. So I was just a hot mess today, but I have great news because Finn ate regular food today. As soon as I got home from dinner, I came back home to check on him before I went to Suzette's house and he ran to his food bowl. So I gave him some food and he ate. So I am pretty happy about that. I am ready to shower and go to sleep. It is 325 AM signing out. Thank you for watching.